you know, obviously I, I, I'm legit. Like those aren't paid actors that are there at the gym and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna show you. Average. It seems like it's not as much as like. People. When's the last time you, you show the Ink Five Thousand? Okay. Obviously, we don't even we don't even really acknowledge what that means. This little raggedy ass place is one of the fastest growing companies in all of the fucking United States. And there's over 50 million businesses, and we're not even in the top fucking one percent. Like, we're like zero 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 one. And when you tell these people, they're like, "Oh, that's cool. That's not real." They don't understand. They don't understand. It's because we're not communicating it. That's why. What can we do different to you know LA? Okay. You got to put really put intention. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, watch this. Google. There's. How many businesses in, in, in fucking United States? I'm a dramatic. How many businesses in California? Wow, three million. How many businesses in the United States? 2021 consensus, there was 48 million. Boom. Okay, that's a lot of fucking businesses, right? Okay, check this out, bro. Inc. 5000, what do you know about it? Story. Boom, 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 boom. This place right here is the accrediting body that, that recognizes the fastest growing companies in all America. You can't pay for this. You can't actually, you know, get featured because, you know, you wrote a check. Watch this. How many I say? What? 50 million? Okay, good. Perfect. Yep. Watch this, dude. Boom. We are number, listen to me, 232 fastest growing fucking companies in all of America. And the whole company. And it's because we know sales are closing. And that's what we do. Let me say it again. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't quite get it. You we are too, you got to get the product of the personal life. Yeah. Damn. Honey, honey, these guys are the fastest. Like, he ain't going to do that because she ain't there. But that's the product you got to get. That's what you got to get. You got to get the duplication. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you ain't becoming a different person by the time you're walking up on that stage, which is the presentation, it ain't there. Really, you be with me at the gym. We go hard. But when I go up on that motherfucker, it's a different motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? That's that peak. That peak mental. Okay, who, who got a demo they want to review? You got one? I got the. I sent you that one in uh, um, Messenger. Right? Messenger. Okay. Yeah, it's like six hours though. It's three demos. Okay, so that little fool. He came here to San Diego, right? Yeah, What's that? Somebody talked to his ass. How we, uh, you haven't. No, I haven't. I know you haven't. You know how I know? It's how you move. Yeah. Okay. I'll text him. I'll text Stop doing the cash grab, bro. Yeah. So, so why do I ask that? Because he can give you referrals. Just like he talks to this guy every day. This guy's man, I, I'm down. I just want to come down to see the facility. I got to want to see if Mike's a real person. Get his little fucking ugly ass over here. Every day. Hey, bro, who else do you know? What do you mean? Who else do you know that wants to, like, go to the next, prove their life? Uh, who do you think about right now? Uh, my cousin Ricky? Where's he at? Well, his name is Ricardo, but we call him Ricky. Okay, where's he at? Call him. Gossip for him, bro. Has he ever been in a Lambo? Hey, Mike, dude, this motherfucker right here, I think, I think he could drop, like, five. Like, do you think we take him around the block and shit, go show him La Jolla and shit, we drop five? Yeah, bro, we ain't tripping, bro. We love people. All right, bet. Boom. You ever been in Lambo? No? Let's go. You got to start creating, bro. It's so easy. Right now, we don't have a problem with leads. We got too many leads. We got a problem with creating. It's it's too easy. When's that time we got a referral? It's been a while. Yeah, of course. It's not PD. It's not, you got to create. You got to fucking create. It's easy, bro. Yo, Perry, give me somebody, because I know you signed up fucking 50 people in the last fucking 50 days. 29, in the 29 reoccurring deals in yeah, the last month. Like, the last, we're, we're, like, who's hot? Give me a name. Give me a list. Um, yeah. Okay, who's the hottest? Man, I have to... No, no. Who'd you just think of right now? That. Who'd you just think of? Uh, Carlos Rodriguez. Okay, what's up with him? Loves Mike. Goes to the thing. This, this, and this. Works out. Bro, tell him, like, the fucking, you know... One of the execs wants to meet him. Got something for him. Good. All right, bet. Those are deals. I, I, I told you. I told Casey to close Brandon Boyd when Brandon Boyd was here months ago. Motherfucker took so, so, so slow, but he finally happened. I told you about the guy that Kevin just closed yesterday. I told Trey Toner about Dream Car two months before I closed Dream Car. It's so easy. It's easy. You got to find a crack, and you got to fucking break in the crack. It's so easy, bro. We got, it's not a leads problem. Yeah. It's a fucking communication relationship yeah, problem. Gonna send you two more yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah, I'd buy his ass fucking coffee. I'd buy his ass fucking tea. He'd be drinking tea. Which one do you want to look at? This I want to look at that cat. That's right. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we're, so we're in between La Jolla and Claremont. We're on 49 of three Marina Bulls. Uh, yeah, so, so we're not that far away. And uh, shoot, man. Shit, what you know about La Jolla, man? How you know about San Diego? You ask him? Yeah, he, I asked him that at the beginning of the day okay. because he's a... Uh, <coughs> I'm, 
Curious, what kind of made you like interested in Mike and seeing how what he was doing? Um, I don't really know. You don't know? You just were like, hey, look at this Chicano guy. How's it like? You wanna, you wanna kind of, you wanna come with more altitude. Okay. You too chipper for this guy. Yeah. You wanna come with more altitude. You know? Yeah, yeah. You want, watch. I'll show you this. So like this guy right here, man. Okay. So this cat's different. So I meet, I meet Dan Berg. And Dan Berg is on some like, you know, he's on some shit where he's like, he's like Mike, well, you know, me, I'm a numbers guy and it needs to make sense. So I'm not going to make a decision today, but if it makes sense, I will crunch numbers and I'll get back to you. Fair enough. Cool, man. If I could, would you? Mike, you heard what I said. So now I get on, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Just, just, you, you all... Y'all yeah, don't, I mean, we, we don't know me like this. In the door. It's just getting in the damn door. Look at look at my look at my delivery with Andre, and look at my delivery here. Okay, I got you. Um, let, let me grab and, and, and Dan. How 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 good are you on time? I'm I'm good. For, um, and we're constantly battling it out. Is the Dan the guy with the head head. Yeah. They're okay. beating us for for a number of reasons, but uh, the guy's a computer genius, so he automates everything. He's in. Throw it, this might be something uh, okay. interesting. How, how much? Um, no, can't support or deny it is. Um, and I know, like, any some people are. It's like I don't give a fuck. I'm just like, it's, it's a different kind of flow. So with him, we don't want to come in. You got to be careful. Like Hamza is frequently coming in too way more high. The, Yo, what's up, bro? It's Hamza, the number two thing. I think they call me a BB over here, man. Hey, what's going? God's like, hello. It's too much. It's too much. Like that. That. You're like you, just like a chipper ass young kid. Okay. So, you, so, so bring more like altitude, less like. Know your audience. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. Even all this fun. Yeah. <laughs> still, bro. Are you, you were an electrician? Yeah. Well, I'm an electrician right now. This motherfucker, like Bradley Cooper. Like you said what? We work in LA. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, so like it's like a forty minute commute probably. Shoot, like an hour and fifteen. Holy crap, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so well, I want to be doing that the rest of my life. Yeah, and, and I mean, I electricians get paid pretty well as long as like yeah, you know, really. they're doing the right things. Um, so that I get, as long as you stay busy, because you know I know sometimes electricians make what thirty, forty, fifty, sixty plus, but also sometimes you know motherfuckers get laid off, right? Okay, good. All right, let me ask you a question. Well, see, I can kind of already tell off the get-go is you kind of want to move out of that and move into something more remote. Yeah, because I got a three-year-old that I want to kind of be with. You want to see grow up? Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Is it a boy, girl? A boy. Oh, damn. Okay, you're, you yeah, got your... He's you got, got a long hair. He looks like a girl. He looks like a girl? Yeah. Hey, hey, that means he's healthy, though, if he got long hair. Hey, pretty. he's pretty. He's pretty, though. Said <laughs> so he's gonna be a freak boy when he grow up. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, bro. Um, so, so your son. I mean, that's something. Are you right there? The, the thing. Oh, Omar's pop his head up. <laughs> <laughs> Motivation for this. Um, are you kind of like? Are, now, just I, I hate to ask personal questions. I'm just trying to figure out where you're at. Yeah. Uh, you got a wife? Uh, we're separating right now. Mm. Okay. Don't, 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 even, don't even say that part. Mm. Hey man, you there? Don't even say I hate that person. Don't even, don't even go there. It, you like ask the tough questions. You know what I'm saying? Days ago. Okay, we got to get a case date from Brandon Jorgensen. Like today. Okay. We got to get a case date from Brandon Jorgensen today. My name is Brandon Jorgensen. I'm a student of the Closer Academy. I've been rocking with Mike for X. And to be honest with you, in an hour, I just made ten thousand dollars in my pocket. And I don't know any other place or any other business. Uh, you know, unless you like Beyonce or something, where you can make actually ten thousand dollars or more within an hour. So uh, this is not me signing up people for the academy. This is people. This is me signing up people for like a high ticket coaching business. And this is what we teach. You want to hear more? Tap in. However. Okay. So now you use him as a case study. You use him as a case study. And this guy right here. Watch this. Hey, Jorgie, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good, bro. <laughs> 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 like, 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 both of us could say like this guy's not Albert Einstein, right? Yeah. yeah. That fucking guy made $10,000 an hour. And I'm not kidding. And that's what I'm about to show you right now. You see what I'm saying? Like, we, you gotta get creative. You got on the Zoom? 
uh, I didn't really, that was the one thing I fucked up on and I realized that after watching it again is like I did not show him what an actual click funnel does and how it all works. It, it, listen, that's, the, that's one of the biggest things. Mm-hmm. Right when you're going in, what do you know about new opportunity? What do you know about Facebook ads? Mr. Personal Trainer, what do you know about online training? Mr. Personal Trainer, what do you know about Facebook? Oh, you haven't done Facebook ads yet? Are you fucking recorded? Gage. You Okay. You, you play with me? Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be fun, man. Yeah. You, you, for real, you never done Facebook ads before? You reacted hey, let me, as if somebody told hey, you. Let me ask you a question. What do you know about high ticket? High ticket? You never heard about high ticket? Okay. Okay. You got like twenty minutes? Okay. Bro, I'm about to change your fucking life right now, man. If you open. Okay, so check this out. That's that's the new opportunity. That it, it's it's you really got to start studying 5.2 because I can help. Listen, the guy, the baddest dude that, that ever walked through these doors in sales, the baddest one, the baddest one. Think about every single one of them from fucking, I don't even want to speak on it. Every single one of them, bro. They don't know fucking 1% of what I know in this game, in this game. But it's, it's here, it's here. You're about to move into the product. What do you know about new opportunity? That's what it is. It's a brand new thing. It's a brand new thing. That's how you create a mass movement, the new opportunity, charismatic leader, new opportunity, future-based cause. So you got you to think about it. So, so should I ask this? Because it, uh, it is the big domino statement. I want to know, should I ask this towards the end of fact-finding or right into the first pr- part of the presentation? Because cause I've been, cause right for me, I've been, like, I've been right. using that in my fact-finding to take that out of the presentation so I can get more into like the... Yeah. Now, people remember what they see more versus what they hear. Gotcha. Hey, bro, what do you know about high ticket? Not a lot? Okay, cool. All right. You're on that social media, right? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I imagine, because you've seen our, our stuff, right? You've seen the TikTok, whatever. Okay, so, like, when I go to Facebook, watch this. Take a look. Okay. Boom. It took about one second. There's that guru dude. And we know this is an ad because it says sponsor. Okay? And if I actually know what the hell I'm talking about, if I click learn more... It is a 99.9% chance this guy's going to ask for my contact. He's definitely going to ask for my email. And this guy's really, really doing it. He's going to ask for my email, my name, and my phone number. Right? You tracking? You ever click one of these, like, sponsored ads before? Yeah. Okay, good. So watch this. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's asking for my name, my email, and my phone number. Do you know what happens after this? Yeah. What happens? They're going to take me to a landing page. Okay, for, uh, so most people wouldn't say that. Yeah, but... I'm going to watch something. Mm-hmm. So what it does is he's going to give me some sort of like piece of data or content or information, and he's going to get me pumped up, excited, and then it's going to be like, book a call or buy this thing. So that's where I come in. High ticket closer. So this guy right here, I know he don't look like shit. And you, you say stuff like that. And that's how I talk. Just to get... I, I, I'm, I'm getting that motherfucker right here that we're looking at to be like, man, this motherfucker crazy. Mm-hmm. And I'm just Johnny Depp and shit. I'm like, sabi? You know, I'm just doing shit to like prolific. Yeah. But it's still me. You're trying you feel to like keep him engaged. Exactly. And, and smack him in the face with reality. Right. Okay, so watch me again though. So this is how it works. People like this, these coaches, these gurus, okay? It's like the new gurus. Uh, what these guys do is they coach you, they provide a product or service, and often they sell them for either a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand, fifty thousand. My guy Jorgensen closed the deal for fifty thousand, not in our academy. All the way up to, I know Mike spent 150K on coaching uh, program in, in uh, September. And all we do is we like take those phone calls, we take those appointments, we make sure it's a good product or service to like satisfy their needs at once. I'm not going to cl- sell you something that's not good for you. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And then we take the order, we close the deal, and we get a commission. Commission is going to range anywhere from 10, 15, 20, 25%. 50K product, okay, cut that in two, 25, cut that in 25. 12,500. This is why this guy right here made $10,000 an hour. Okay? So base gets a brand new thing, and this is what I'm about to show you right now. And I'm not kidding. Okay? You tracking? Yeah. Like, I talk fast. I'm yeah. from New York. Okay? So anyways, <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, you may know this. You know, I'm still in my early 20s. Mike's like in his 40s. Mike always tells a story. Mike's always like, you got to learn how to tell stories. Mike told me this. When I was your age, Clay... I used to watch Nate, Nate, uh, late night television. Jay Leno and David Letterman, Arsenio Hall. And at the end, it'd be like Tony Robbins. You know that name? You don't? Okay, watch this. This guy right here. Tony. Gage. You, Gage, they, Gage, they think I'm playing. Fucking clinic. 
Gage, Gage, it's a clinic. Gage. It's a clinic. This is, this, and and this, Clay, real quick this, to your question earlier, Gage, bro. Gage. If it was supposed to be in the fact finding, it'd be in the five point one doc. <laughs> so so any bro, yeah. I promise you, anything that's on this five point two doc, just it's master. definitely supposed to be in the demo just, instead of the so fact. So just copy it verbatim. Oh yeah. <laughs> verbatim, bro. Yes. Everybody been asking Do me recently, until, what are you doing over there? This. Do it until like they're like, This motherfucker fake. He acting like Mike. And then Clay will come back. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Once he figures out to do 5.1, he will drive a Lamborghini. I promise you. I promise you. Okay, so anyways, this guy right here. The, guy, the big old dog. Fly. Hey, I'm Tony Robbins. It's time to fly. Hey, hey, I'm Tony. You ever see? So Mike tells stories back in the day when he was like, you know, 90s. These guys would sell like VHS tapes. Let me see. I ain't never looked at this. This is where I'm making jokes about how old Mike is. I, yeah, you know this motherfucker, like 40. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all. So he would sell this. Look at this. Is it right here? How to sell anything, Tony Robbins. Okay. So, so what they would do? See. See, see how I tell a story? Yeah. So he would sell these life improvement courses, and and basically people would buy them to get to the next. But that was back in the day. Today. Shit, everybody guru. They got the Shopify guru. They got the fitness guru. They got the fucking relationship guru. They got the fucking closer. All the... So that's what we're doing. Is All we're doing is capitalizing on a brand new thing. I'm telling I could show you this over and over and over. I'm just going to type this in. Okay, here's this coach, whatever. I'm just going to click this thing. And let's just see kind of like what happens. I'm just going to type in the word motivation. Okay, Clay, you still with me? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm just gonna click this thing right here, and I'm gonna click this right here. Let's see what happens. So I'm watching. Oh my gosh, another <laughs> fucking guru! I cannot go to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, fucking YouTube without watch this. If I click this, what I say? What I say earlier? It's gonna ask for my what? Your phone number, your email, and your information. Nope. I said it's gonna ask for my information. Very likely, very likely, my what? Email. And I said, if they're really on the bike, they're going to ask for an email name and phone number. But these guys might even ask for my credit card. We'll see. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. I, 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 so do you get what I'm saying right now, that the Tony Robbins thing was a thing? And, and, and now it's just like everybody and their mama? I can do this all day. I can go to Facebook right now and show you another guru. So the guru needs the closer, and the closer needs a guru. The crocodile needs a little bird to eat the little teeth, and the bird needs a little crocodile thing to eat the teeth. You get what I'm saying? Symbiotic. Symbi I don't even know what that means. Symb symb symbiotic. That's that right? Symbiotic, right? Symbiotic. Yeah. Do you see? Do you no, I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Okay? So what I'm telling you is there's a huge, huge brand new trend. It's called knowledge brokering. It's called the fucking guru motherfuckers. It's called whatever. And they just want to sell you. Oh, I'm and they need closers. So that's what we're doing, and that's why we've been able to get this and this in fucking 232 fastest growing companies. You gotta miss us to work. That's why you yawning. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you get the cadence? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's easy, bro. It's easy.